What would each of you tell your 17 year old self? What would I, um, stop wasting your time. So I was 17, I was working at a fast food restaurant making sandwiches. Now the internet didn't really exist as such, but looking back on it, it was part of my journey. And I regret nothing because I ended up where I am. So would I even go back and tell myself anything is the question. If I had to, um, it would be to to not burn so much of my time. Let's talk to the 17 year olds who are listening. You know, do you do you finish your job, come home, play video games, etc.? That's what I used to do when I was 17 a little bit. What I didn't do is come home and think, okay, fuck, let's let's work on something new. Let's try and build something. Let's start a, a YouTube channel. Let's start creating content instead of consuming content. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd tell myself to be a bit, little bit more proactive with my free time and not fuck around so much. If you had a teenage son, what would be the one piece of advice you'd give him to break through the matrix and achieve um, success in life? I think if you're a young man, even if you're not my child, if you're just any man who's out there in the world today, you need to look at some problems that need solving either for yourself or for society and find a way to fix them. And I think that you should just adopt some problems and try and fix them. It doesn't matter what it is. You can just try and fix the litter in your area or you can try and get a six pack or whatever yeah. you want. Men are builders. The modern world, call me misogynistic, the modern world was built by men. Every building you're in was built by men. Every road you drive on was built by men. We're builders, we build things. And that's what you should be focused on. Have you got any advice for 21 year olds who I guess seem pretty lost and they don't really know which direction to go in. What would you offer to those guys in terms of advice? Oh, I've got loads of pieces of advice. Loads. Uh, if you don't know what to do, don't go to university. Yeah. That's the first thing. If you know what you want to do and you need a university degree to do it, then obviously pursue that. If you don't know what you want to do, going to university is going to burn three or four years of your time and likely get you into a bunch of debt and a bunch of trouble that you don't need. Two, don't uh, waste... Yeah, don't waste time. Yeah, don't waste time on, on frivolous pr pursuits. Stop trying to live like the man unless you've actually become the man first. And that means women. Stop trying to get laid all the time and get beautiful women. Because if you are a nobody, the time and effort it's going to take into convincing a really beautiful woman to go to bed with you is much less time than it would take me or Mike. Because we are a somebody already. So you're burning your hours. Uh, yeah, don't chase women too much. Don't chase having fun too much. Don't chase clout too much. Don't try to be seen in cool places that you can't actually afford to be in. You know, Dubai is actually a very interesting example of this. I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent here, but that, that's all good advice. It's simple. Dubai is a very good example of this because Dubai is a place where people can look like they're doing something big when they're doing absolutely nothing at all. Mm -hmm. There are hotels in Dubai, like the hotels I stay at, that are one, two, three grand a day, 10 grand a day. They do exist. And there are also hotels in Dubai up near the old town where, you know, the laborers and the workers stay that costs 35, 40, 50 dollars a day. That, that does happen. You could fly to Dubai and people do this, men do this with no money. They come to Dubai uh, with their friends. They have no money in their pockets. They have a nice shirt that they'll wear, fine. And they'll take a taxi from their really cheap hotel down to downtown, picture in front of the Burj Khalifa, click, picture in front of a Lamborghini, click. Now they're a guy with a picture in front of a Lamborghini in Dubai. They're a guy who hangs out in Dubai now. He's at the Burj Khalifa. He makes less than $1,000 a month, probably. You know, people do this. Mm. They literally clout chase based on location. And that is the biggest waste of time that I've ever heard of. You know, go, yeah. on a, go on a vacation within your budget and have fun with your friends, by all means, and take your mind off trying to be somebody. But yeah, people pretend too hard today. And the, the effort it takes to pretend short term will make you look richer or cooler or more successful than you are. But if you take all the time that you spend pretending and actually invest it into trying to become what you're pretending to be, you'll get there. Yeah. But it will take, again, three, four, five years. I use this analogy a lot, maybe I overuse it, but you need to find a way to some degree to escape the matrix. And I, and I say the matrix because the matrix, the way it is designed- and You're now, not just talking shit because you've actually done that. <laughs> I've escaped the matrix. Yeah. I've literally escaped the matrix in nearly every form. So any form of oppression no longer applies to me. I'm uncounseled. I can't be canceled. No, I can say what I want. My finances are secure. I've escaped the matrix. And when I talk about the matrix, it primarily applies to men because men are the backbone of the slave force. We always have been and always will be. And unfortunately now, if you're a law abiding man inside the matrix, your future and the life that is laid out for you is nothing but depressing. You're going to go to school. You're going to get in debt. You're going to get a job. You get a wife, divorce is coming, you're gonna lose the house eventually, your job's shit, inflation's outpacing your wages, you're gonna work, 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 no one's gonna appreciate it, now you're old and your life's over. That is the matrix for 99% of men, and you need to find a way to escape it. And I guess I was kind of fortunate from a young age, I always knew that the matrix was coming and that the system is designed to oppress. 
the people who make the rules do not make the rules for the benefit of us. They make the rules for the benefit of the people who make the rules. And I knew that. And I think every person intrinsically knows that. Like if it's four in the morning and you're sitting in a gas station and a Lambo pulls up, you're probably thinking drug dealer or criminal. You're not thinking, oh, he definitely went to school. The system is absolutely broken. It's designed to oppress and that the majority of people who stick to the rules are going to lose. This is the knowledge that you're only going to learn the hard way. And even after I tell you, you're still not going to implement it because you don't learn anything unless it's learned the hard way. But at least if I tell you in advance when it happens, you can be like, oh, yeah, I should listen. So I'll tell you a few, a few of them I found here. Young Kings, how good are you on your worst day? Are you good enough on your worst day to beat your opponent on their best day? This is the key to unlimited success. This was said to me by my kickboxing coach. He said, we have to train like you're gonna fight on your worst day. You might have a cold, might have COVID, might have fucking broke up with your bitch, car might have broke down, bad might sleep, who knows? And he might have everything going right. Could be a fucking perfect day for him, it's been the best week of his life. If you get knocked out, are people going to start talking about, oh yeah, he got knocked out, but you know it was his worst day, and the other guy's best, are they just going to say you lost? No room for excuses, you're not trained that way. So people also often, often talk about their personal best, or the best I can do. If the best you can lift is 200 kilo on like a one-off sometimes, don't say you can lift 200 kilo, you can't lift 200 kilo. You can lift 150 kilo every single time on your worst day. That's where your real performance level is, your worst day. Keep that in mind. Young Kings. Too many of you value money as if money will save you from yourself. Every single one of you reading this should be focusing entirely on changing who you are as a man. You are where you deserve to be and no amount of money will change who you are. I think I've told this story before. I've told it on a few podcasts. Anyone who watches my podcast will know. I've said this loads of times. Money is an amplifier. You don't watch this channel because I'm rich. You watch this channel because not only am I rich and I made it all myself, which is unique, but I'm the big G. I was the big G before I was rich. Now the money amplifies. Right? I was a street dog. Now I've got much money, my teeth are bigger. But if I never had any teeth, money ain't gonna change anything. I use this analogy all the time. If you see a Lambo pull up and a dork gets out, you're gonna think he's some super fucking crypto tech dork. He becomes a massive mega dork. You see a Lambo pull up and a big G gets out, now he's a mob boss. The car amplifies who the person is. It doesn't change who the person is. The car is not gonna make the geek a mob boss. It's just gonna amplify who you already was. Money's an amplifier. So a lot of you people are out here chasing money, you need to strongly look at who you are as a character. Why I think I fight. Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it to try and make it make any sense is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. I think, who cares about a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie? Looking forward to the weekend to get drunk? Like these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. And if I don't fight, if I'm not in a situation where I'm stressed or worried or concerned, I'm just perpetually bored and boredom's crippling if you're an intelligent person and you've got a good brain on your shoulders you can't just sit there bored you know so most smart people take the academic route to avoid boredom and they learn 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 but that's never really interested me either although i've always been an intelligent guy and i've always done well academically it was it never really interested me and then i see people climb out everest or jump off buildings or do base jumping or the guy who jumped from space people think what's he doing he's crazy i understand because some people can't live normal lives. Some people cannot just function nine to five office job, get drunk at the weekends. That is not for some individuals and it's not for me. So I have to find something which keeps me physically tired enough to stop me going AWOL um, and mentally tired enough. And I've chosen fighting because without this, when I'm not in training, I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I gonna do today? It's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, I'm bored. It's just a random lifestyle because I'm constantly looking for never ending entertainment and it doesn't exist. I think the only thing that could stop me fighting is if I had enough money to constantly entertain myself. Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. With fighting, I have to train twice a day and I have to train hard. The stress it brings in every aspect can replace fun and my mind is occupied. It occupies me. It's the only way I can try and explain it. It occupies me and I could never stop doing this even if I lost a hundred fights. 
because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it.